What's up gamers, in this week's Sim Tip of the Week we're going to be taking a look at the pistol formation, why it's so effective in the game, and we're going to also talk about kind of how it began and just kind of give you some generic ideas as to, in my opinion as to why the pistol is so effective, not only in real life but also in Madden, and I believe it was invented in 2004 if I remember correctly, I think, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was either North, Northern Illinois or Northwestern, I can't remember though. Uh, let me look that up, and I'll remind. I'll have a factual one for you at the end of the video. Um, but the pistol basically is like a mix between a single back or or a, a pro. It's basically that common ground between a shotgun set and uh, under center set. And over the years, it's adapted many different types of uh, sets and stuff like that. It, it began with just a single back, but it. It also has now, you know, evolved to much more than that, especially with the way it's been effective with the 49ers, the Redskins, and, and teams like that who use mobile quarterbacks. But today we're not only going to break, we're mainly just going to break down this one concept from the pistol, and that's the pistol full house. Uh, we saw Colin Kaepernick run wild with this um, in the uh, playoff game against the Packers last year, and the play I want to focus on today is the zone read. And this is, um, well, I'll, and I'm going to talk a little bit about why I like this so much right now. So... Zone read is uh, or it is something that you guys saw Chip Kelly use to perfection at Oregon and has started to install more of it in the NFL. And basically what it is is we're optioning off this defensive end on the right. And so as I broke down in my earlier video this week on how to run the read option, we can either hand the ball off to the back or we can keep it based off of what that defensive end does. So it's all reactionary. So, if, you know, it, that's one thing that some quarterbacks – that's that's mainly the one flaw with it is that it, it's based off of a split second decision whether you're going to go with the quarterback handoff or the running back handoff. But for us in Madden, it's a little bit easier to decipher uh, just because we have a little bit more time. I feel like to to read the defender. But the effectiveness of the zone read, in my opinion, is is just phenomenal. And here we're going to make some substitutions, but. The reason that the zone read is taking over the game so much is just because it, it takes the speed of the NFL and almost slows it down to a certain extent, at least from what I've seen. It, you know, basically what I've seen is that you start with this idea of when you're running just a standard run. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to run a standard. Um, let me grab a standard run here. But just a standard like dive or something, the defensive end doesn't have to worry about the quarterback necessarily he just has to worry about the back so he can uh, immediately crash down watch what happens this time you're gonna see they're just gonna crash straight down on me and it's a lot easier to stop it um real quick uh, the pistol formation was invented in 2005 so I was one year off and it was actually invented by Chris Alt at the University of Nevada so that's a quick quick no but you see the slam is just it's not as good as uh, a read option because it it doesn't use that idea of optioning the defensive end, making him respect the fact that the quarterback could at any time take off. Now, the way teams used to do this was with play-action rollout passes, like like something like um, play-action bootlegs and, and, and things like that, where they would just take the quarterback and they would just roll out after faking a handoff. So something like this. And then if, they, if the defense didn't honor it, if he was a mobile quarterback, he could take off. So that's how they used to do it. This way, I feel like it's better, though, with this zone read play. Um, remember what we talked about in, in our last video about how to run it, holding X to um, to effectively use it. But, guys, this is all based off of something you see every day. Now, obviously, NFL teams don't run it 100 times down the field. But certainly every, you know, every now and then, and almost as a base run, I think, they're really starting to adapt with this read option. Defenses are starting to come more exotic to have to stop it. But again, the read option is, a, is probably the best run I've ever invented, in my opinion, just because it uses every idea. It, it just so much to defend in one run. It's, it's one run, but at the same time, it's like three runs. Because you could take this run, and you could cut. You could take it off with the quarterback. So you have that aspect. So you could run it to the right. And then you could also... Um, if you if you option you can take it with the fullback or excuse me the running back here and just cut it straight up field for an inside run, and then you could also bounce it out wide as an off tackle type of run. So so many different avenues to attack the defense, and it's basically just a read play um, based off of what the defense does. And so you cover you know four three uh, two to three different types of runs, 
in one formation. So, uh, you know, that's part of the basics behind the, the pistol read option, guys. Um, in my opinion, combined with other uh, sim concepts that we've been talking about all season, like curl flat concepts and levels concepts, um, this is probably one of the most effective formations that we've ever seen because it just gives everybody an opportunity to contribute to the running game while still maintaining uh, decent passing combinations and things like that that you can use based off your formation. So, you know, this uh, and the next week we're going to take a look at um, Chip Kelly. We're going to take a look at a play from his uh, his playbook. Uh, I believe it's the spread offset formation, but we're going to look at why it's a uh, why some formations he's brought to the game have, have changed the way that um, offense is played in the NFL. So, Thank you guys for watching this week's Sim Tip of the Week. I hope that the, you can learn something about the Pistol Full House, more specifically the zone read out of it. And uh, again, guys, I really thank you for watching. And be sure to leave comments with questions, thoughts, or just anything you have to say to me. Leave it in the comments, and I'll read it and get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.